What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Weekly Indie Newcomer, the Friday series where we appraise and review, give the impressions of a game that's been rattling around my inventory over the course of the last week. This week we're taking a look at Crest, which is kind of an interesting game in the fact that Crest is not really a game. And it's very, very difficult to describe aside from the fact that you play the part of a god who's trying to guide a primitive people to being self-sustaining and trying to get them to the point where they're not starving to death, they're breeding properly. And you do this by giving commandments. And the interesting thing is here, the commandments are interpreted by your people in different ways, and I think that's really where the crux of the gameplay is going to come through, and there's really sort of the propensity, or at least the ability for really hilarious things to happen along the way as you give commandments, and they inevitably screw them up. And so, given the fact that I'm really, really stoked about being a god, I'm going to go ahead and give them a commandment to build me a pool, to get me a PS4, and to bring me pork buns, and hopefully that works out well for their culture. But nonetheless, the game is made by Eat, Create, Sleep. If you wanted to check it out after this video, I would highly recommend that you give it a look-see. It's $4.99. It's going to be a tough game to recommend, but it's definitely an interesting concept, which is why I would say that everybody should check it out. It'll probably take you about an hour to pretty much kill all the gameplay. It's one of those early access titles that is very, very, very early access, but I think they have an idea, and I think they have a theme, and I think working along that is going to lead towards something unique. And so while it is kind of an artsy-fartsy, not even, I wouldn't even say artsy-fartsy, I would say it's like interactive art almost. It's very much sort of a experimental game like you don't really know how it's gonna go but at the same time I think they're working towards something sort of along the lines of black and white meets well I, there's not really anything that's ever been done like it so I guess it's got a lot of parts that are sort of like black and white but you can't actually directly interact with the world so before I go on too long windedly this is probably gonna be a short video because the game doesn't have a whole lot to show off I feel like once we hit the point where our society is self-sustaining and I've explained how the game works I can leave it to you from there to decide whether it's gonna be for you but that's essentially what an impressions video is anyway so let's just new game let's rock this thing Okay, and so welcome to the game. This is it right here. I love the presentation of the game. The first thing that you're very much going to notice about this is the stark way that the graphics are contrasted. So basically it uses all solid colors. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the game only uses maybe like 64 colors or something. It's very, very simplistic. The characters are low poly. They get things done. That guy has like very, very pointy chesticles. I don't know if he has like a growth going on or something, but he should probably go talk to a doctor. I don't know. Eh, might not be long term survivable for him still. Let's talk about the game, shall we, instead of nitpicking on characters and making fun of their pointy boobs. So what we have going on right, and that's a male character too, while we're on the subject, the female characters will come out eventually and they walk around with the little children and they have like dresses on and stuff like that. But anyways, this is the central location that you're going to be paying attention to for the majority of the game. This is your capital building. It's not denoted as such, you just kind of have to figure it out. And it's got our food stockpile, and so it's a mean of everybody's food. We've got the metal, which has been accumulated by everybody. I don't know if this is like a Bronze Age group or a Copper Age group. I would say probably copper, but that's how much metal you have. They have to have metal in order to make tools and be happy. You don't, there's no interactivity with like the tools or anything like that. They kind of just like do it all on their own. This is how many people are getting busy in your society. Apparently everybody's sleeping on the couch right now. Nobody's getting any loving. It's unfortunate, but you know, maybe once we work things along, it'll be like whack, 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 wow, whack, wow. We can get that working on in here, but not for right now. Everybody's unhappy. See, that's why. It's because nobody's getting laid right now, so everybody's just bummed out. They have food, they have metal, but there's no loving going on. Everybody is fed right now, and it looks like the mean of all of our followers' age is somewhere around a little bit lower than middle-aged. So what we want to start out by doing is pausing the game with the space bar, and if you wanted to get really the good readings for your society, the good stuff, you actually zoom in on the individual houses, and this is what each person needs. Each one of these guys, they live in one of these huts, and so this guy probably lives here, this guy's probably like over here, this guy's like right here, and that's that. So let's give some commandments because it looks like he's hungry and unhappy. He got problems. This guy has food, but he's still unhappy because, I don't know, he's lacking in some way. He probably wants a child or something. So what I'll tell them to do is let's give a commandment. And you do that through this right here. And these are the two menus that you're going to interact with the entire game through. There's, seriously, there's no other menus. The game is incredibly minimalist, something that I appreciate. But as of right now, the way that things are denoted is a little bit confusing. And you're not quite sure what they do all the time. And so what you're going to look at, there's two biome buttons here. Forest button and there's desert button. If you press desert button, it means all of your followers in the desert will do the thing that you give them. And so you have a location or person. So you have a noun a verb and then who you want the verb done to or what you want the verb to result in so it's a little bit odd but I'll explain it right here so this right here would say desert people I want you to gather food 
And so that would be it right there. And the commandment goes in for 65 years or 65 turns or 65 whatevers. I think that's going to be my unit right now. 65 whatevers gets done. After that, you want this to kind of be a chain so that even if they misinterpret it, it still results in the same thing that you want. And so let's say that people who are overfed should gather metal. People who are happy should gather babies. And I don't know if they're getting them from other people or if they're making them themselves, but that's what we're going to do. And then people who are unhappy should also double... Actually, that's going to override the other one, so let's not do that. If I do this one right here because everybody's unhappy, it may override the other commandments that I've given. Elderly people, we're going to have them move to the forest for their retirement. And then we're going to say people that live in the forest should also gather food. And so there it is right there. And so once they've gathered that, I wish that there was multiple part commands that you could give sometimes. So if in the forest and if also happy, you could diverge people a little bit. But the game is very, very early in its early access. In fact, I think it's in like 0.04 alpha right now. Like this is seriously like the first vestiges of the game that you could possibly see. And so let's unpause this thing and we'll kind of just see what happens, shall we? So these little guys are going out to mine. I'm hoping they go back on that right now because that's a bad plan. We don't need metal right now. If you leave them to their own devices, which their own devices are very, very simplistic, mostly pickaxes and hoes, I, they, they don't do very well. So you really kind of want to babysit them and make sure they do the stuff that they're supposed to do. This guy has got his mating outfit on. This is the outfit that they wear when they get their freak on and they do this little dance out in the field with the other people, which apparently results in fluid exchange and that's how you get babies. He's going to stand out here and just be bored by himself until somebody else brings it along. It's unfortunate that everyone is mining right now. I don't know why they're doing that. They shouldn't be. And so, nobody should be mating either. So it looks like some of the things that are done right now, people are neutral, but I need them to be happy before they start mating. And what you'll see is when they get back to the houses, they actually fill up their own personal stockpiles with the things that they need. So where is this guy going? We'll watch him go on in. And actually, if you zoom back out after this, you can see the meters adjust and shift around as well. I like how he's got his little, I don't know if that's iodine or what that is. He's got his little nose covering right there so he doesn't get any sunburns or anything. That's pretty awesome. Actually, I think the gathering occurs while they're actually in the quarry. And so now that they're in their houses, let's speed things up slightly and see how it goes. It looks like one guy is starving, so he should probably get on that. This guy's going to go a hoeing to get himself some more food. Hey, you got to pay the bills and get yourself fed however you can. I don't, I don't judge. I don't blame. Whatever. This guy's overfed, so he's going to go out. If you paid attention to that, he came out of that house right there. He is overfed, therefore that's been qualified, so he's going to go gather metals, which he does not have enough of. Now, if you get enough food and you get enough metal, it should make him at least slightly happy, and then from there we can go out and breed. I don't know why this guy... Oh, he is happy right now. He's got everything he needs, so he's going to stand out in the field for a moment and just cuddle himself there's nobody else to cuddle with so he's gonna cuddle all by his oh this guy's gonna come out and breed with him there you go rub each other's tummies let's get this dance on boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka waka waka boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka and if you watch actually if you take a look the little meter on their house so they're associated so it's these two guys that are breeding right now that's right man and man make babies in this game i don't know Two dudes just out there mating, just doing their thing, and then at some point after these two guys get done getting their freak on with each other, a lady will come out who's pregnant, and it's, this is a magical, magical world we live in. I don't even know how to describe it to all of you. It just works. Don't question it. Just let it happen. And so once they get done, oh, this guy's jumping in. All right, we got a little bit of a menage a trois thing going on. That's cool. If everybody wants to, I guess as, as long as there's enough fluids for everybody, that's fine by me. Just share. Make sure that everybody's on the same page. This guy's out. Oh, he wants to breed now, too. It's going to be four guys getting it on in a big old muddy pit. Oh, yeah. Hey, nothing there. There's nothing else. See? And then the ladies come out after that. The guys get done. I don't know if they're having like a party and then they go back home and they breed or if they're partying and then breeding with each other. Ancient times were kind of crazy like that. I don't really know exactly what happened. That baby has an enormous head. My God. Little Einstein over here. Good for him, though. That's what we need. We need innovators. We need Teslas in this society. You want to keep a lookout on these because they are going to expire over time. And while our commandments have done reasonably well right now, keeping everybody happy, we just want to hang out and keep going. Now, what I would like to see later on is I would love to see all these little guys have their own names. I'd like to have a combat log of sorts up here in the corner. And it would say that blah, blah, blah interprets the word of God to mean like this. So that you would have some rough, like, some rough idea of the way that they're interpreting things. Because obviously we're all powerful right now. We are omnipotent. And since we're omnipotent, I think that that means that we should have direct insight into the minds of our followers. Now the babies, they just put them into houses and then meh. I mean, once they're in a house, they instantaneously grow up. This guy still wasn't done breeding, so it's a little bit unfortunate for him. But what will happen after all this? Let's mouse over and see why everybody's happy right now. 
These guys are killing it. They need metal in abundance and they want to move out. These guys have like this vague nomadic tendency where until they move once during the course of their life, they're not happy. Was that a ship? Oh, that was clouds. Never mind. I was like, is there a ship off in the distance? That was a little bit weird. I think we're good for right now. Let's just watch this unfold, shall we? Let's just watch this unfold. So they're grabbing some food. Our commandments are being interpreted in the way that I would like them to be interpreted. And so we've actually made a chain that's very, very functional right now. There's one thing that we haven't seen so far. And once people become elderly, what you will see is they'll turn into this guy right here. And they'll become, I don't know, he's got like these weird, I don't know if those are his eyebrows or if he just has giant glowing eyeballs. But for whatever reason, this is one of our elderly people. So he grew up, he's done in this area, he's done all his work. And so what he's going to do now is he's going to migrate and move and start a new city. Now we said for him to do that in the forest, but I've had limited luck getting people to actually settle in the forest. I've actually commanded them to do it many many times they don't seem to do it they kind of just like do whatever the hell they want so i think the migration might be a little bit rough right now but watch he's gonna go start a new city it's pretty cool at least it makes me happy this guy's gathering metal how we doing over here everybody's looking slightly satisfied nobody's unhappy which is better than nothing else he builds us a new capital and so the whole thing just continues over on this side and as people want to migrate over here they can do that they can do that of their own free will Let's take a look at our commandments. We've got 15 years left on our commandments. I tend to play this on the middle speed, which is down here in the bottom. I think it works out pretty well. Eventually, you'll run out of resources and everybody will die. This is not a game that at this point is at a session where you can play it nonstop and it will never end. Eventually, you're going to hit a brick wall and that's going to be that for your people. But as we breed along right now, we want to keep an eye on this village over here too. Yep, keep cuddling yourself. It's okay. That one wasn't done. Somebody finished and the other person, so everybody's just overall unsatisfied. you got to be a very gracious lover when you do stuff like like this if you get to get to the end they get to get to the end otherwise somebody just ends up in a dirt field right now just like oh uh, unsatisfied with the way the thing played out unsatisfied still these guys are farming up by the river you can farm out in the desert but I haven't really been able to figure out exactly how that works. It seems sort of arbitrary whether or not they decide to go farm in the forest or whether they go farm in the desert. This guy has apparently reached his elderly age, so he's going to move into this village over here. I would also say that did we have the elderly gather food? We had the forests gather food. So the other thing that I would say... We're actually going to have to redo all these in just a moment. So I'm going to do the exact same chain because this is the only chain that I've found so far that actually wins the game. Otherwise, you kind of hit like this weird dead period at the end and it's it's odd. Either way, people spread around. They do their stuff. And so now that that's done, we're going to harvest that. Okay, we'll go desert people. Nope, don't be overfed. We're going to say gather food lease. There it is. Okay. After that, we're going to say people with too much food, gather up der metals. After those have been gathered up, we're going to say people that are all around happy, get down with the baby making. Now, I haven't really been able to figure out the difference. It says urges your followers to perform a certain subject. This one says urges your followers to prioritize a certain subject. I think they both accomplish like the same task, but later on, they're going to be like distinguished in some weird way. I'm not really sure that, hey, what's going on up here? How come it didn't go? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We want people who are overfed to gather me Oh, that's already in there, so it was the first commandment that didn't go through. So we want the desert people to gather forth the foodles. There we go. Add that to the list, because that's a very, very important one. And these are in no particular order. This is not like a list that supersedes one another. You have to be careful about logic errors like that, too, while you're playing through. But by and large, this is pretty much the duration of the entire game. So we're going to have people who are sad go... I don't know, people who are sad maybe gather food or something maybe that'll help out that might be a bad idea though maybe that one oh i can't undo it now no and so people who are happy are already making babies that one might backfire on us sometimes you have like weird logic errors where you'll put something in it'll counteract with another thing your people will get confused they'll stop breeding they'll start just like starving to death non-stop instead of boogie dancing out in the field which is what they should be doing at any given moment i am all about the boogie dancing if people want to hang out and make babies hang out and make babies man that's all on you but this is pretty much all that there is to the game right now i figured this would be a very very short showcasing of the game the game is called crest if you wanted to check it out we're going to do some pros and cons right now because i feel like i've touched on all those points that i was going to touch on anyways like crest is one of those games that i don't think i would give a recommendation to not because the game isn't good but simply because there isn't enough game here yet to appraise properly People who buy into the game should be well aware that you're financing an idea right now and you aren't getting a whole lot of playable mileage out of the title itself. 
as of the time of this recording, and you should look at the date down below, because if you're watching this like a year from the fact, you will want to find a different video. I'll be totally honest about that. My goal here is never to clickbait you into watching one of these impressions or review videos with the intent of giving you the wrong information. So, you know, if it's like 2017 when you're watching this, go check the game out for yourself. Don't listen to what I'm saying right now. But as of my recording, there's, if you're really, really generous, there's like two hours of gameplay. I mean, I spent a reasonable amount of time trying to coax old people into having sex and, like, forcing my young to go out and slave in the fields. But at the same time, aside from watching the game unfold, it's not a very interactive game. You kind of just, like, put commandments in play and watch what happens until your society dies out. And then you start over again. You play around with different, you know, concepts and different commandments. And that's about all that you can do. I think its art style is approachable, and I do like the way that the game's presented. I think it works, because you're representing primitive peoples right here, and so I think that the primitive graphics were chosen on purpose, and I like that a lot. Everything else is cool with the presentation. I think the sound effects and the way the music plays, very inspiring, very primitive, and at the same time, it kind of reminds me in that Baba Yetu kind of way of the, how Civilization IV launches itself off with its cinematic. The music is inspiring, and it makes you look forward to the things that your culture is eventually going to create and survive. But that aside, I just I'm interested in seeing the way that it plays out in the future So I guess in summary I'd say that there's a lot of unique ideas being pitched in crest and if you want to support those ideas Buy into the early access. It'll help the developers continue to create the game However, if you're looking for actual content to chow down on Crest is going to leave you very very peckish right now because there's not a whole lot there So I would give this one a passing wait and see for your average viewers Just kind of keep an eye on it if you like the idea, but you don't want to spend five bucks Wishlist it and just kind of like watch where it goes over the coming months But I figured I'd give it a little bit of exposure kind of show the game off because the concepts were interesting I think I played the game last night, and I was like yeah, this is kind of fun I mean I could see a lot of humor arising from the game once there's more stuff to do but right now It's a little bit barren. My name is Splattercat. This is weekly indie newcomer I will see you next week on Friday with the next offering I may turn weekly indie newcomer into like a multiple time a week type deal There are a lot of reviews out there to be done and I said I was gonna transition the entire channel over to more review based commentary But we'll see what happens Happens. I'll see y'all later. Hi, do. I'll see you next Friday for the next weekly indie newcomer.